Hello Scorpio and welcome to the Humble Seer. So in this reading, I'm going to do a situation, which is the Knight of Swords, cause, which is the King of Pentacles, and advice, which is the Empress, which happens to be you, Scorpio. All right, so let, and then at the end, I'm going to pull a little fairy card to just enhance the reading. All right, so let's get into it. So your call, your situation right now, your problem, whatever you want to call it, is the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is, well, they are assertive. They're fast moving, right? They come in with something. And this, this Knight of Swords is likely somebody in your life, somebody that you know well. And they just come in and see that sword on the tongue of the dog? It's like their tongue is sharp and they do and say things that, um, you know, are a problem for you. And what I'm going to tell you next is interesting because, you know, you probably have known this person for a long time. I don't know. They could be your spouse. Uh, I don't know. Coworker. But their tongue is sharp. But it's like, what is the word? There's a phrase for a person that is, um, and I cannot think of it, like... They are, they say things underhanded, right? They say hurtful things, but you don't always recognize it. But now that you know that they do this, I'm making you aware that they, uh, they can, uh, you know, be this way. And there's a term for it. They'll say things that are cruel, but you don't even recognize it. But now you have to pay attention to that, right? Uh, you have to pay attention to the things that they say that are hurtful, and you'll you'll start to see it. Now, the King of Pentacles is the cause. Now, I see you, Scorpio, as the King of Pentacles all day long. You you carry it. You you're the one. You're the you're the person that you know manages everything. Now, it's a cause because this is situation, cause, and advice, right? It's a situation that you're in, a problem, something that is irksome, vexing, whatever, is the knight of swords. And it's that person with that sharp tongue. They're a problem. And they're a problem because of jealousy. They're jealous because you, the cause of this, which is not a cause really, because you can't help that you're that good. But the cause is you having uh, what you have. You being the king of pentacles. And again, the king of pentacles has wealth, but they're generous. And they're wise. Now, the advice is the empress. And I love this. I love this. Because the empress is, well, the empress is creative. They're abundant. And so the advice is to tap into that side of you, what I'm getting is mix these two together, the King of Pentacles and the Empress energy. Become both of them because you already are both of them. You are the King of Pentacles and you are the Empress. Now, as you're doing all of this, we have the love eye emoji and we have use kind words. So make sure that while you're being that badass boss of the King of Swords and that amazing sensual empress, you're combining those two. Make sure that don't rub it in their face because it's already in their face because they're the cause. They're the situation. This is the problem. They are, for all intents and purposes, a thorn in your side. But like I said earlier in the beginning of the read, make sure you start to listen to the things they say. Passive aggressive. That's what I was looking for. Passive aggressive. This card flew out uh, for your um, your oracle. I'm going to pull a second one, though. Your, your um, fairy oracle. It's called Owl Song. And it says, whisper secrets to the moonlight. Find strength. In stillness I don't even think I need to pull another one you know when you're dealing with a person like this it's best to just laugh them off you probably want to remove them from your your life you probably in other words you probably want to 
create an exit uh, plan because they're going to continue to bring you down and continue to do things that are hurtful. And you didn't even recognize the, the, the hurt until maybe now I'm, I'm telling you about it. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. As always, you take good care. Be wise like the owl. And we'll talk again soon. Bye.